Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be looking at the Brooklyn Shopify theme along with Boundless and the debut theme. This is probably one of the most popular Shopify themes out there and I recently got a request to do this theme as I've done a lot of others and other Shopify apps so I just thought I would take a look at it and yeah, let's just get into it. Number one, this is a clean and professional theme. It's elegant and it's very simple. It doesn't have a lot of crazy features or cool things. Um, it's simple and it's it's meant for apparel, but you can sell all kinds of products. So first, let's just look at the theme features listed here. Again, it's designed for a modern apparel store. You can put a slideshow in the header, a dynamic product grid, slide out cart, homepage video. So I don't really like the slide out cart too much. Some people like it. I just don't like it. It's the personal preference. I like an actual cart product page, but that's just me. All themes on the theme store also include customizable content, SEO, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so right now I just want to get into the biggest drawback of this theme, or at least what people are saying, and I sort of agree with, um, is that if there's an update to the theme, you're going to have to customize your theme from scratch. So that's something to pay attention to. You can read this review if you want. Um, I like this theme, but there's always an updated version of it. This means that you have to rebuild your site from scratch every time the theme editor. Yeah, so basically, I mean, you can see it here. It's pretty clear. There should be a way to update the themes without us having to start all over on our websites. That's a pretty big drawback, and I believe this problem exists with all other Shopify themes, or if not, I don't know why it would be for this theme since Shopify developed it. Um, but yeah, just something to pay attention to. This is why I like using premium themes with support and stuff. With these free themes, you're going to have to develop your site from scratch when there's an update. Something to pay attention to. All right, here is a sample website that Shopify developed using this theme. As you can see, it's clean. Here is the slideshow they were talking about. Um, I don't really like the slideshow too much. I think it takes away from like this call to action right here, the shop buttons. But anyways, um, the featured collections. Uh, featured products. Let's go ahead and take a, a look at the product page and I'll show you some more info and some more insight. Um, another thing is the product images are displayed kind of, you, well you have to scroll down to see them. That's another thing that I don't really like. Um, I like it when there's one image and there's a bunch of thumbnails and there's arrows so you can just kind of like click through and see the different things, kind of like what's on Amazon.com, but this is another way to do it. Here's another example of a site using the Brooklyn theme. I really like this site actually. Um, I like this much better than the other. Uh, this one I showed you. I think this one is colorful. It has a distinct style to it, and I really like what they've done here. So if we click on a product, um, as you can see, it has this purple, any of the blue, and the pink here. I just really like the aesthetic, um, the aesthetics of this. And if you're going to use this theme, make sure you have something like this. I wouldn't leave it kind of plain like this. I think it looks very boring. And although it is professional, I think it's just very, not very aesthetically pleasing. Here's an example of a real site using the Brooklyn theme. Again, they're using a sort of vibrant, some vibrant colors here. Um, the sort of the blue and black color scheme here. If we go to a product, you can see here, you have to scroll down to see all the images. Um, and one more thing to mention is this site, this theme has a slide out cart, as you can see here. So, um, it'll slide out. I don't really like that slide out cart too much. In fact, I think I mentioned it before, but, um, anyways, that's also something to pay attention to. It's not, um, a cart page. Another cool thing this site is doing is right below their products. They have an Instagram feed of people posting and using their products. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, I think that putting an Instagram feed is a great idea. In fact, I'm not even sure if this is Instagram, but it looks like it. Um, anyways, that's sort of all the features of the theme. It's pretty simple. There really isn't a whole lot of ground to cover. It's what you'd expect from a theme developed by Shopify. So, uh, would I use it? Personally, no. I don't li really like the free themes. I like to go for premium themes. I actually have more videos on that. In fact, I have a bunch of free themes that I've just given to you guys in another video so you can check that out. I like using premium themes. And one more thing to mention with this theme is that a lot of people have probably seen this type of theme. Um, so because so many sites are using it, uh, it, it has this distinct style to it and eventually people sort of get bored of it. Right. I mean, I've seen so many sites that look like this. It's crazy. And it's just, I mean, 
I want to buy from a site that looks different than all the others, right? I mean, that, that means that the developers actually put time into making the site look good and look different from everything else that's out there. So that's also something to keep in mind. All right, so that was basically all the features of the Brooklyn Shopify theme. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like this video and subscribe down to my channel below. I'd appreciate that a lot, and I'll see you in the next one.